what is up guys, Pandacraft Gaming here, or Cheyenne here, whatever you prefer. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated setup. Um, I did get some new additions to my setup. Um, a lot of it is still the same, but I actually just rearranged my room yesterday. And I just, you know, um, it may still be a little bit messy, like on the floor over here and everything. But I hope you guys enjoy this set of video. Let's get into the setup. So the first thing in the setup we have is the chair. Um, I think this is updated since the last video I've done of my setup. I can't really remember, but um, I'm gonna go, so this is just a, I think it was like 80 to $100 I got it for Christmas. Um, the arms go up, it's really nice. They go up on both sides, but uh, yeah. Has a uh, metal on the bottom. And then over here, I have a bunch of stuff for my GoPro. I just got it out of my bag. This is a printer, and then this is a stand. It's a bunch of coloring stuff, and then a race board whenever I want to write stuff down for YouTube. Computer plug, a lamp. Um, oh, I have some cereal. Nice. Um, this is my laptop. I use this to edit all of my videos. Um, it has an i3 processor. That's like the only thing that's like I know about it that's like really good. I mean i3 isn't the best but it's still better than most and considering this was $400 I would say it's a pretty good deal. Then I have some pencils, a pencil sharpener, um, have a bunch of other stuff. I have some 3M tape. Um, I think I'm going to use that for cable management um, since my power brick is under there. Um, now what you've been waiting for is setup. So I have my um, GoPro on there for a different angle and then I have this. I'm going to be getting a better case um, for it. It has a dual core processor which is completely horrid for making videos so I'm going to get at least, I'm probably going to get an i7. Um, it's a bit overkill, but it'll still be really dope and fast, so I don't really care. Um, then we got the Saves headset. Um, you can get this on Amazon for about 30 bucks. It's a really, really awesome headset. I really recommend it. Um, going with the Razer Rainbow Splatter background. Awesome. I have my Bandicam open. Um, these are two Dell monitors. Um, they are super heavy. Whenever I was moving my desk yesterday, um, it was just so heavy. I could literally pick up this entire this entire L-shaped desk. It's pretty big, just for that's how big it is. Um, I could pick up the entire desk, and it's lighter than pretty much one of these monitors. That one right there. This one's still really heavy, but that one's like, oh my god, it's so heavy. Um, Moving on to my peripherals, um, I cannot speak, <laughs> excuse me. Um, this is the Logitech C920. This is what I use for my face cam. Um, and then we have um, the software up here. Yay, I'm making a video with the Sony Alpha 5000 and the Gorillapod. It's awesome. Okay, anyways, moving on. Um, we have the Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard. I have it on the Rainbow Wave preset. Um, it's really, really nice. Yep, very, very nice keyboard. Um, and then I have my mouse. This is one of the newer things to my setup. It's not as new but I got it a few months ago. It is just the Razer um, Death Adder 2013 edition, um, but it's still really nice. It fits my hand very nicely. 
I'm going to upgrade. I'm probably going to get either an extended mouse pad or a Razer Firefly. I would like to get a Razer Firefly, but at the same time, I don't know if I want to get one. Um, and then this desk, if you're wondering where I got this desk, I got it off eBay for about 80 bucks, which is actually very cheap for a desk, obviously. But um, yeah, it's a really nice desk. I like that it has these um, these bars down here because like I can, you know, um, I can, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I can like hang my headset headset on down there whenever I'm using, um, whenever I'm using the monitor, obviously, because that's like really annoying if um. I'm trying to record a video or something, um, but yeah. Also on the Sage headset, we have this, which you can use it to mute the mic, and then like sound if you want to turn that off, and then like go up and then like down and stuff. It's really really useful for that. Um, it has a nice braided cable. As well as the Razer Chroma, it has a very, very thick cable. And then this has a little bit thinner of a cable, but still a very nice cable. Um, yeah, guys. Um, oh, and then I have this little trash can down here. Um, it's a little rock star thing. And the thing on it actually broke. I'm probably going to be getting like just a bigger trash can for here. Um, yeah, it's sufficient enough for what I use it. A bunch of pencil shavings and stuff in there. So if you wanted to see that, there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Peace out.